everyone, welcome to episode 13 of our Race to Dakar 2020 series with Team Races to Places. Hey guys, it's about oh, 5.30 in the morning. <sighs> Yesterday was a beating, really tired. Hands are hurting, body's hurting. We're gonna go do it again. Another 400 and some kilometers. Today's supposed to be a hard day, so. Most important thing, just stay smooth, no crashes. And just keep going. You can hear everyone, the team's alarm clock's going off now. Time to hit it. Another day. Let's go racing. Just giving my uh, calluses a quick shave here. A trick for you. Shave the skin off your calluses. It stops them uh, getting too big. Tricks of the trade. Yesterday went and uh, it was kind of frustrating that the modification that was made to the road book uh, seems like it wasn't right or something. Probably 95% of the riders went wrong at that place, and uh, the guy that won the stage uh, he didn't have the modification in his road book, probably because he didn't go to the riders' meeting and he got that point right. So it's really frustrating. Um, but there's no blame, it's just rally racing. And here we are uh, in fourth position now. I lost, lost 30 minutes to a guy that was sitting behind me, so I lost my third position, which makes it more frustrating. But uh, it's rally racing and there's a long way to go. And I'm just thankful that we're all safe and we're out here racing dirt bikes in the desert, because that's what we love doing. So we'll just keep pushing on. Uh, a few more days to go yet, anything can happen. This is rallying. <laughs> stage of the rally so we'll see what they throw at us today.
hoping for a good day. Smooth, navigate well. Come on. Yeah, man, like freaking crazy. Oh, I don't, oh, you shouldn't have stopped you, sorry, man. That feels good out of the corner. You're gonna try and start to go that way. Go that way, yeah. You won't believe this man, we both hit the soft sand at the same time. Have a look at this. 
Have you ever seen anything like it? <laughs> Just here in a, in a June field, it's pretty harsh here. We've got some rocks and some stuff. Um, you can check here some trucks have had some challenges. It's pretty crazy, these things are so big, and when you see them on their side like that, it's just a force, man. It's just. Massive, massive, massive machines. So they've got some help from the other guys. Yeah, I'm sure they're going to try and make a plan, but they're in for a, they're in for a lot of work. Just here in a dune section, but just to give you an idea what it's like when you hit a soft spot, you're just a couple of meters different to everyone else, and this is what happens. You can see just going along normally, and suddenly your bike just disappears. So now we get it out, just lifting the wheels out, and we stand it back up. And now we try to walk it out to get out of the soft spot. So we're out here again, we stopped to uh, get fuel. Yeah, we're giving fuel to a legend right here. This is Nicola Tutu. Absolute legend. legend. Ah, legend. Yeah. The, leg the legend is Ricky Jones. So now if you guys want to see a legend, just have a look at this. To give him fuel. This is just an old trick, because if you have to carry it, you can put it flat in your yeah. pack. It's uh, really it's clever. Don't waste the, the, the yeah, we just uh, sorted Nicola with a couple of liters of fuel. We don't have a lot ourselves, so we all run the risk of running out. But uh, we're gonna just kind of all help each other and get as far as we can. They've sent a buddy on ahead, so sooner or later we'll all get fuel again. But uh, this is Nicola, yeah. If you remember, you know, he featured uh, just the other day when we were with all the bravery stuff. Um, but you can see he's set up here on the bike. There you go. The guy is a machine. Thank 
pleasure, man. Thank you very much. Man, so here we go now. We hopefully we won't run out of fuel now because we've only got a couple of liters. We've got 30, 30 odd kilometers to go, but it's a freaking honor to help a guy like that. Man. I have to say, that was the best rally stage I've ever done. Like, it had everything. I mean, it was hard and it hurt, but. Uh, it had every single type of terrain, like hard rocky tracks, fast pistes, sand dunes, really difficult sand dunes. The organization really put a good, a good stage on today. That was my favorite stage of them all. Um, some interesting moments. I did a desert cartwheel over the handlebars. That was interesting. Um, but yeah, it was fun and I gained some time on some guys early on, so hopefully a good result today. before we got to bed and we were up at six that morning so that was a 19 hour day for us. Uh, today not so bad, a bit shorter drive. Yeah. Uh, the lads had a really good stage though, they really, the scenery today was incredible. I mean just driving between it to get to where we are now, it was stunning. So yeah, I was kind of a little jealous today to be honest. Uh, yeah, but long hard day in the sand so it's hard on the clutch. Uh, gonna check the coolant, obviously coolant, big, big one. Uh, and the air filter, the air filter was pretty rotten. So that'll get changed. That had a skin on it too, so uh, yeah, just the same thing we've been doing every night, mostly. Might get a rear tire tonight, it's not looked good. Bike hasn't been down, so no issues there. I really enjoyed it. Like the first, the first 100 was bad. My hand was really painful and giving me a lot of jib. Um, but then from 100, when I started catching those guys, I forgot about the pain in my hand and then just like got on it and nailed it. Opened the course and that was great right up until like 350. And then the last 50 just really was brutal. It was like all off track with rocks and dips and jumps and it was hard work. So, um, so impressed with the road book. Like every little bit of detail in the road book is there to help you. Like you don't, waste any of it you look at everything and if you look at everything nail it ah it's so much fun yes that's why i like rally racing it was good today and i won the stage which is even better <laughs> today had it all man today had it all today was about survival they told us it was going to be one of our harder stages um so I, uh, yeah, started off pretty cruisy, and then once I felt comfortable, got some speed up. Um, then I hit the sand dunes, cartwheeled over the bike, and the bike flipped over in the air, and the seat pounded my head into the sand, and I thought I was going to suffocate. But I knew Mike Johnson was there, so um, I struggled in the sand at the start. But then I uh, tailed Mike for a while and um, watched his. Watch his smooth style and stole all these pointers. But we made it back. I'd like to say all of us, but um, we're actually missing two guys. It should have been tracks by the time they got there, but it's been so windy today. Even fresh tracks are getting blown over quite quickly, so it's hard to follow if you do get lost. Or probably a lot of people lost out there. They said there's what they say, 15 bikes made it in. They started with 80 bikes in the whole race. I don't know how many have dropped out through attrition, but there's 15 bikes made it into the end of the stage today. Uh, so, yeah, not really sure what's going on, but we're gonna get this bike done. So when Greg comes in, we're ready to jump on his, and he can go grab a bike to eat, do what he needs to do, get a shower, 
get to bed early because they'll be off again tomorrow, so uh, we'll be ready for him when he comes in. <laughs> Man, we've come all the way to Mauritania yeah, now. We're gonna take the baton, and so then we uh, we just went for it. But this this boy here, yeah. <laughs> I need a photo with you guys. Come on, there you go, everybody. Yeah. 